Glory be to God. As long as we are breathing, we will always worship you. As long as we are breathing, we will always worship you. As long as we are breathing, we will always worship you. Somebody please unmute yourself. Let's worship together um, as we pray in other tongues. Remember yesterday we learned that you praise God very well. You praise God perfectly when you do so in other tongues. Let's do it together. I know it's the last encounter night of the year, but it's, it's the most glorious. It's the one in which God is putting together everything that belongs to 2022 and he's packing it in one place. And so you want to be plugged in sincerely. You want to be plugged in with all your attention, with your concentration. You don't want anything to distract you. And the first area we're going to is in that our personal relationship with God. And what the, and I believe that the Spirit of God is saying he, he wants more worship from us. He would be that, that the Father desires worship from us. And I can see how that is, is it, how that will be important because I read in Revelation chapter 5, verse 10. He said, Jesus has made us unto our God, kings and priests. The job of a priest is to bring sacrifice unto, unto the Lord, is to worship, is to is to serve in, in the tabernacle, is to serve. 
serve in the temple. And so uh, we want to we want to allow the Spirit of God to help us tonight to engage, teach us how to worship the Father. In fact, Ecclesiastes already told us that the whole duty of man is that he will fear him. That word fear means he will worship him, he will serve him, he will live, he will live his life as, as, as one who worships the Lord. He said that, that is the whole duty of man. That is the conclusion of the matter. And so I just want us to, to go into a time of asking help of the Holy Spirit to teach us how to worship the Father. Again, I know it's a, it's, it sounds like a simple prayer point, but don't let's take it as a simple prayer point. Let's just follow the Spirit of God as he navigates us tonight. As you can see, I'm speaking really fast as usual, but I want you to just follow the leading of the Holy Spirit, begin to receive help on how to worship it, on, on for strength and stamina to stay in longer uh, extended worship of the Father. This is the whole duty of man. Unmute yourself. Let's begin to pray into that. That our very primary duty, which is to please the Father. The Bible says he made us for his own pleasure, that we will begin to yield ourselves more and more. We will begin to walk away from complaints and, 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 from, and from things that do not please the Father. But we will come with worship. We will come with surrender. So that David said in Psalm 24, in Psalm 27, says, one thing have I desired. One thing have I desired to behold the beauty of the Lord and to inquire in his temple, to stay in your presence, O oh Lord. How about if you begin to ask the help of the Holy Ghost tonight? Remember, this is praying about you. So we're talking about your worship life. We're talking about your relationship with the Father. It's not just about prayer points. It's about pleasing the Father. For they that wait upon the Lord shall renew their strength. There is a, a there is profit in worshiping the Lord, but you will need to come and engage the Father and grant him that attention that he seeks of you. Why don't you unmute yourself? Let's pray together as we yield ourselves to the Holy Spirit. Break this second Yahasona, Spirit of the Living God. You are the one that Jesus said will teach us all things. Teach us how to worship the Father. Teach us how to serve him. Teach us how to be more surrendered. This is a time of surrender. This is the this is this is the, 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 the place where you surrender your agenda, you surrender your pleasures, you surrender your desires and you say, Lord, let everything about me, let it please you more than ever before that 2022 that as I, as, I, as I wrap up 2022, that I'll be more pleasing to you, that I'll bring you, oh God, sacrifice that, that stirs up an effort, fragrance in your nostrils Saka, wherever you are, are you there? Are you there, somebody? Or give yourself. It's time to, to come. It's time to partner with the Holy Spirit to learn to worship the Lord. Learn to worship the Lord. I don't want to be where I was in my worship time. Thank you. 
said come unto me all ye that are heavy laden that are burdened all you that are, are weary and are tired come to me and i will give you rest i will give you rest as we press for the presence of the lord it is the place of exchange where we would begin to give up all the all the heavy weights and receive the yoke of the lord which is which is light a whole lot lighter than the one we are carrying Jesus has made that open the invitation and he has said, come. And I want you to come, come. You, by faith, come. Release it all to him tonight and say, Lord, I have been burdened. Lord, I have carried this weight. But as I, as I approach 2023, I want to travel light. And so I let go of my burdens. Oh, come on, church, go ahead and begin to cast your burdens before the Lord. Whatever the nature of the burden is, you can afford it to cast it onto the Lord. Bible says, cast all your cares upon him. He didn't say, cast some of, the, of your cares, cast the lighter or the heavier ones. He said, cast all of your cares. And I want you in this moment to begin to cast your cares onto him, to begin to throw the weights that are on you. Because Bible says that, 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 that we should lay aside all the weights and all the sins. So whatever it is that you are carrying, let go of it this moment, this, this, this evening, in the presence of the Lord of yourself as you let go let go of the emotional weights let go of the of the of the relationship weights let go let go of any kind of weights hallelujah let go let go let go let go let go let go i want you to remember that you're praying about yourself it's you that must let go let go Let's 
Say so all year long I've been praying about this matter, this burden of my heart. I've been praying about it, I've been trying to roll it away, I've been trying to walk away from it, but it still attached itself to me. You sound just like Peter, who said, All night long, I have told I have a full blown professional business. Uh, fisherman and i know what it means for for there not to be fish in the sea i know about it but hallelujah glory be to god i always like that word but if you would put that word but into your story this evening and be like peter the bible says but at your word i will lay down i, I will launch out my net i want you to obey the instruction of the lord jesus to peter he said let launch out into the deep tonight in the presence of the lord launch out let go throw those burdens away let the burdens fall off of you you know you can make a choice i say you know, no matter how heavy you feel i let go of you in the name of jesus and i believe that this is a prayer point that god wants you to take right here for yourself not for your neighbor but for yourself because many of us are carrying too much and you can't run fast enough when you are carrying a lot of weight i want you to begin to declare that i take the invitation of the lord jesus where he said come for my yoke is easy and my body is light in Matthew chapter 11 verse 28, 29 and 30 says come unto me all you that labor and are heavy laden this is the invitation of the Lord Jesus go ahead and meet yourself as you let go for real it's not just mouthy words call those areas of burden and say I let you go I let you go into the hands of God I let the burden of that authority I let the parenting go Thank 
It's not, by, it's not by might or power, but it is by the Spirit of God. It may, it may be a, a long-standing burden, but by the Spirit of God, it comes to zero. It comes to zero. It may be, a, it may be, it, it may be a, something that is statistically working against you with compelling evidence, but by the Spirit of God, it is shattered. It's not by might. It's not by power, but it's by the Spirit of God. Hence why Isaiah said in verse, eight, in verse 27 of chapter 10, he says, and it shall come to pass that in that day, the, his body shall be taken away from off of your shoulder and his yoke from off of your neck and the yoke shall be destroyed. The yoke shall be destroyed because of the anointing, because of the power of the Holy Ghost. The yoke shall be destroyed. Jesus said, the Spirit of the Lord God is upon me. If you belong to Jesus, why don't you begin to declare the Spirit of the Lord God is upon me. I destroy the yokes that have held me bound. I destroy the yokes that, that is keeping, that is slowing me down. I destroy the burdens. I yank them off of me. Anybody out there who will pray for themselves and say, the spirit of the Lord God is upon me. Be like Jesus. The Bible says he taught it not robbery to be equal with God. He declared that he's equal with God, but at the same time, he submitted himself to the agenda of God tonight because you are, because you are born of God. You are joint air with Jesus. You are anointed with the same Holy Ghost that Jesus is anointed with. You take on the power of that same Holy Ghost. How you destroy the yoke. I take on come on church, unmute yourself, let's pray and declare an end to the yoke, to the burdens. Spirit of God said to me, many people's burdens are being slowed down because they're carrying too much weight. You need uh, every one of us and so we need to go ahead and begin to do what Jesus did by the anointing of the Holy Spirit. He destroy the yokes. He destroyed the yokes. We destroy every yoke holding us down. Ibrada sota karia yoke. Ibrada sete burdens. Krede sekeria dada parenting burdens, business burdens, relationship burdens, burdens that are weighing us down. This moment we shatter it. This moment. I shatter all burdens that are waving up. Krodo sekeria da soda. Omit yourself somebody because I'm sure you want to pray for yourself. Kruda da dia kosa da brada. Ume deske deke de kibia. Ato to to ye deske de. Ume deke deke de brada. Kruda sekeria da ba shekeria. Ume da sekeria deske de. Kruko deke de 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 Hey, I remove the burdens from off my shoulders and I destroy the yoke by the anointing. So that in my other shoulder, any baba 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 baba, send the other many to sota. Ah, but this is the other. 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 Ah,
Jesus made that invitation. He said, come and learn of me. My yoke is easy and my burden is light. In other words, don't just throw something, don't, don't just throw your burdens at me. You need to take on my own kind of burden, my own kind of yoke. You need to take it. You need to learn of me. What is there to learn of the Lord Jesus? The Bible says that that he, he 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 suffered uh no sorry the bible says that he 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 was in the form of god yet he was obedient to god and so we would want to begin to learn new habits the, the habit the new habits are, are the things that are listed in galatians 5 22 where it talks of the fruit of the spirit those are your new habits those are the yokes that you need to take on you need to take the yoke of love joy peace temperance long suffering faithfulness you know you you need to learn of the Lord Jesus. And he says, my yoke is easy and my burden is light. And so you can begin to let go of that which is weighing you down. Take on the, the yoke of trust, Tr total trust in the Lord, total obedience to the Lord. The Bible says that those that are willing and obedient, they will eat the good of the land. These things, Jesus said, the spirit is willing, but the flesh could be weak. And so we want to begin to believe God that these new habits will be will become second nature to us, that we will be able to not, not just hear about the fruit of the spirit, but that it will translate into our daily existence. But we can only do this by the help of the Holy Spirit. Go ahead and begin to receive help from the Holy Spirit to live the life of the spirit, the life of love, the life of joy, the life of peace, the life of trust, the life of faith. Oh, go ahead and please yourself. I'm saying, well, remember you are praying for yourself. And so this is not about thinking you know what's the next miracle? You need to come. You, you need to have just like you've had a, a, a moment of throwing your bodies on the Lord. Now you need to 
take on the new man. You mm-hmm. need to take on your new your new nature and begin to build those the, the qualities of your new human spirit. You need to begin to build it into your into your physical life, into your mental life, into your emotional life, where the, where all the qualities of the of the of the new recreated human spirit is beginning to it, it's coming out from the inside of you and affecting your daily existence. I know that uh, that's a lot of words that I've said there, but mm-hmm. I want you to just trust the Holy Spirit, the one that knows how to deliver you from the bodies that you have already dropped mm-hmm. in the presence of the Lord. Mm-hmm. Unmute yourself and begin to say, Lord, I've come to take on new habits. Yes. New habits of praying, yes. new habits of, yes. of studying yes. the word of God, yes. new habits yes. of meditating yes. in the word, yes. new habits of yes. trusting yes. the word of God, yes. new yes. habits yes. of yes. believing yes. the word of God, yes. new yes. habits yes. of is to spend time in the word of God. My new habit is to believe the word of God. My new habit is to confess the word of God. My new habit is to obey the word of God. My new habit is a vibrant, a vibrant, fiery prayer life. Oh, Rasa Daria, this is what Encounter Night is about. That your that your entire life will, will receive an encounter from the Holy Ghost. Hallelujah! And we say that as we leave this meeting, we will go with those new habits. New habits. You think about what were the habits of the Lord Jesus? He was very prayerful. Hallelujah! He was. He, the Bible says he even he even fasted. Hallelujah! And he overcame temptation. Those are his. Those those are the things that we know of the Lord Jesus. And above all, we saw him healing the sick. We saw him performing miracles. Jesus said, as many as believe on me, the works that I did, they will do also an even greater work. If you believe that you, that if you believe in the Lord Jesus, go ahead and, and latch on to the, 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 the cloak of the Holy Ghost tonight and say, I have come to, to be who I have been called to be, a believer in the Lord Jesus that is able to walk in the miraculous. I don't know about you, but I seek the miraculous. I seek the power of God to, 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 to touch humanity, to touch the earth. To do the miraculous in my life. Jesus said, When the Holy Ghost comes, you will receive power. Have you, has the Holy Ghost?
has come into your life. Yes. And so that is our receive power tonight. We, we quicken ourselves into operating in the power of the miraculous. Ah, let's go and begin to press in for, for, for the power of the miraculous to be to be manifested through us, to be manifested in our lives, so that in the stories we will not just be the one that has a need, we will be the one that's providing the solution through the power of the Holy Ghost. Oh God. The Bible says that when they saw the disciples, they, they knew that this was happening with Jesus. They, they saw them that they, this was did not go to school, but we can see the power of God manifesting in their lives. This is what we have been called to, to a miraculous life. Your life is now a miraculous experience upon the earth. And so we want to see more of that, that as we get to usher in 2023, we will be walking in the miraculous that Jesus talked about. How many of us can say that we have been walking in the miraculous throughout 2022? But you don't have to give up. We are pressing further. We are pressing further. So that like the, the account of the book of Acts that was sending the disciples that many, many uh, uh, special miracles were run through the hands of the apostles. So go ahead and meet yourself as we as we begin to uh, change the, the gear of our prayers. Go on and, and, and meet yourself. Rate so debe de akashana. So walk in the supernatural. So walk in the supernatural. I don't know about you. The Bible says, "Confess and speak." Confess and speak. Begin to confess the gifts of the Spirit.
miraculous is your normal dwelling place. The miraculous is your normal dwelling place. And I'm talking to you and I. The miraculous is our normal dwelling place. And so in the name of Jesus, we refuse to be to be set aside and sidelined where it comes to the miraculous. That by the Spirit of God, we will continue to establish the kingdom of God everywhere and in every situation. In the name of Jesus, Jesus said, those that believe on me, they will cast out devils. They will speak with new tongues. They will lay hands on the sick. They will recover. They take up deadly things. They will not hurt them. They will tread upon serpents and scorpions. Jesus is saying that the believers of the Lord Jesus Christ, they are supernatural display units that go everywhere displaying the power of God upon the earth and that encounter life. That is what we have come to make contact with tonight in the name of Jesus. The Bible says that Peter and John, after they were beaten and, and threatened, they went back to their own company. I want to say to you that we are right here in our own company and we want to begin to engage the power of God so that we would walk in greater boldness and courage and bravery so as to bring the power of the kingdom of God to be to bear upon the earth in the name of Jesus. You don't have to have a church to do what I'm talking about. I'm talking about just being the child of God that you are loaded with the resurrection power so that as we usher in 2023, we're going in as a militant army of the Lord Jesus Christ, full of fire. Come on, unmute yourself. Let's do some more praying along those lines. As you pray, the Holy Spirit is, is, is moving things around. What do you see? What do you see? What do you see? What do you see? And do you see a weak Christian that is just tired and crying for help everywhere? Or do you see a vibrant, a vibrant, powerful child of God who is facing the circumstances and the situation and bringing it to the to, to, to obedience to the Lord Jesus Christ? Thank 
Learn of me. Take my yoke. My yoke is easy and my body is light. What was the yoke of the Lord Jesus? He came to save the world. Bible says that God gave the God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten son that whosoever believes on him would not, should not perish but have everlasting life. He came to save us. Uh, lost and so we we and so if you are going to take his yoke then you are going to be de- you are going to be connected you are going to be involved with the salvation of the lost that is our responsibility it is our, it is our responsibility as children of the living one we remember that we're talking about your your work with him you're talking about your relationship with him and in that relationship includes a responsibility to win the lost ah labra de second the bible says that we are ambassadors for Christ. I know that sometimes, in the, like Jesus said, that the flesh is weak. We want to put the flesh under and make it our, our responsibility, make, make, make it our duty, make it our, our daily task to see to see that the lost is saved. How do I do that? You can start by praying for your neighbor, the, your neighbor at work, your neighbor in your office, the neighbor right next to your shop. You can start by praying for them and begin to believe God for boldness and utterance to communicate the gospel of our Lord Jesus, even with words as well. Someone says, yeah, you can preach and sometimes, if if necessary, use words. I dare to differ because the Bible says that it is through the preaching of the gospel of the cross that men will be saved. And so we still have a responsibility to say something, even though obviously your your behavior should align with what you're saying, but we have a responsibility to share the good news of the kingdom of God. This is talking to you and to me, still talking about your relationship with Jesus, that the Spirit of God will help you. Again, pray about this. I'm particularly interested in praying about this. I need help to be able to talk to people that I don't know about the Lord Jesus or people that are not born again. Tell them about the Lord Jesus. Tell your friend, tell your sister, tell your loved one, tell your workmate about the Lord Jesus. Somebody says, Agatha, you want me to lose my job. The Lord will make a way for you. For He, the knowledge of the Lord must cover the earth as the waters cover the sea, and you are the vehicle. Bible says God sent His word. Great was the company of those that published it. So you are a publisher of the good news of the kingdom of God. You can trust God for wisdom. You can trust God for 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 strategies. Let's believe God tonight. It's not just enough to believe God for for you know all the physical things. Let's believe God for that for that boldness and courage and strategy and access that causes us to. Be, to be more and more useful in bringing the king, in bringing many sons to glory, in, bring, in bringing uh, men from darkness to light. In the name of Jesus, unmute yourself. Everybody's quiet on this one, but I'm going to shout it on the on the rooftops. Let's pray. <laughs> <laughs> Babu <laughs> 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 
before I hand you over to the announcer. I want us to pray in a certain direction to bring this part of our, of our, of our prayers to a close. I want us to begin to pray for old for our old age. I don't know how many of you are already your old age, but some of us are just, you know, we're, we're young and we, we are looking at years ahead, 50 years ahead, 30 years ahead. And we're saying we want to live healthy we want to live strong we want to live joyful we want to we want so that if the lord tarries his coming we will continue to be useful in the vineyard of the lord hallelujah and we'll be we'll continue to be useful in bringing the kingdom of god to bear upon the earth you know this is something that god said to abraham and guess what abraham is your forefather bible says that we're now children of abraham because we have faith in the lord jesus and in genesis chapter 15 verse 15 God said to Abraham he says, as for you <laughs> glory be to God you will die in peace and you will die in your old in a ripe old age and let me read it the way the new living translation says as for you you will die in peace and you'll be buried at a ripe old age and, and God had laid this particular prayer prayer assignment on my heart pray towards our twilight days I call them thriving twilight days that we will thrive even in our twilight days I want us to begin to to to, to allow the Holy Spirit to, tr to 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 take us on a journey in advance to prepare and bank oh, bank unction bank anointing bank strength bank health for us even as we advance in age hallelujah so that like like job said says you will come to your grave in a ripe old age hallelujah so wherever you are i want you to begin to to journey with the holy ghost one of the things you need on on your journey for a thriving twilight day thriving twilight days is good community healthy community good friends those of us that don't want to keep friends or we we, we don't want people around us we need to allow the holy spirit to to clean us of that 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 uh that that way of thinking and allow allow him to to bring the right relationships into our lives with we which we can enjoy our twilight days or meet yourself. I know you think, oh, what kind of prayer point is this? But just let the Holy Ghost help you. Or meet yourself, pray, pray, pray in the spirit. Thank <laughs> you. 
as for you genesis 15 15 you will die in peace and be buried at a ripe old age. Glory be to God. That if the Lord tarries his return, you will die in peace and be buried at a ripe old age. That with long life, the Lord satisfies us and shows us his salvation. In the name of the Lord Jesus, hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. Because that means there is no room for untimely death. That means there is no show. There is no deal for, for, for premature death. There is no deal. And by the blood of Jesus, there is no deal for untimely death. In the name of Jesus, amen and amen. Glory be to God. Hallelujah. Bless the name of the Lord. We give you thanks, Father. Thank you for the help of the Holy Spirit. How would we have gotten this far without you? The Bible says you found Jacob in the howling wilderness. You alone did lead him. There is no strange God with him. You have led us by your spirit and there is no strange God with us. Thank you for leading us in the, in the areas that we have prayed about. Thank you because this is yet the beginning. You, you want to, beyond this gathering lead us in all aspects of our work with you and so we turn loose to you tonight even as we have accepted the invitation of the lord jesus to take his yoke and to, to take his burden but because his yoke is easy and his burden is light thank you spirit of the living god in jesus precious precious name we have prayed amen and amen we're going to go into the second half but just before that just listen to, to some announcement and the testimony god bless you we'll be right back thank you very much pastor agatha and thank you everyone for taking the time to uh join today to pray for yourselves if you'd like to connect with our ministry you can um, go to YouTube and type in Prayer Bootcamp for All Nations. And then when you find it, then tap on those words. And then 
you'll see an option for a playlist, tap on the playlist, and then you'll find all the recordings of all of our meetings. And you can play any of the recordings again to pray along in your own private time. You can share the recordings with your friends and family. And we'd like to kindly ask that you like other recordings and that you subscribe to the YouTube channel. Thank you. You can also connect with our ministry by emailing us at prayerbootcamp at oasisfoundation.org.uk. You can send us your prayer requests, your feedback, as well as your testimonies. Thank you. We'll be taking communion at the end of this meeting, so please have your communion emblems ready uh, at the end. Thanks. Just like to remind everyone that the UK is now on daylight savings uh, time until March. And so, um, and for any of the time zones that are in Africa, you are now at an hour ahead of us. So reset my seat that is at 7, 8, 8, 7 to 8 a.m. UK time on twice a month would be 8 to 9 a.m. Nigeria time. You can set your phone alarms accordingly. And if you join any of our meetings an hour early, Please just log off and log back on in an hour's time. Thank you. Just like to let everybody know that Spirobix is on. This is our annual December 21 day spiritual aerobics where we pray in the spirit daily for 30 minutes uh, to build spiritual fitness, to stand against stubborn resistance. We have done days one and two and we'll uh, we'll continue tomorrow at 7 to 7.30 p.m. UK time. We set by seat extended our monthly prayer meeting where we focus on one topic when praying for our children is on next week, Saturday from 8 to 8.30 a.m. UK time right after the main reset meeting. And the topic for Saturday is victory over mental challenges. So please join. And if you know anyone who can benefit from this session, please feel free to invite them. We'll be focusing on standing against mental illness and learning disabilities. Our next encounter meeting is on the 8th of January, and not on the 1st of January, uh, as we usually have, as, as our usual practice, um, because our uh, 1st of January, as we know, is New Year's Day. So we will have encounter night on the 8th of January. Thank you. Just want to thank those of you who continue to send us your testimonies. We give glory to God. We inspire the faith of us and we encourage the brethren when we read them out anonymously. And we'd like to encourage others to do the same. Uh, And we appreciate the time that you take to do this. So with that, I'm going to read today's testimony. So fasten your seatbelts for this one. What shall I say unto the Lord? All I have to say is thank you, Lord the mighty Yahweh of Israel, the one who answers the prayers of the righteous, the one who is worthy of praise. Today is the first day of December, 2022. That's when this testimony was written and sent. I've been running a childcare business for over 12 years. And not once have I encountered anything like what I experienced today. Prior to today, uh, two weeks ago, I planned to set aside seven days to fast and to pray, a juice fast. I had been looking forward to today, which was supposed to be the first day of the fast. First thing that happened when I was that I woke up late to open the gates for the children's parents today. My staff was starting the was starting later in the day, so I was supposed to open the gates for them. I had woken up much earlier in the morning. I prayed and then I went back to sleep and then I overslept and I kept the parents waiting for over 40 minutes. They had to alert one of my staff. Second thing that happened today, later on in the afternoon. A one-year-old happy-go-lucky girl who had been ill for three and had been away from the daycare for three days had returned to the daycare today. Normally, she eats very well. However, today she wasn't eating. She was happy and playing, but not eating. I told my assistant to make her some milk and to lay her down. Again, we tried the milk, but she refused to take it. So as she was trying to lay her down, she noticed that the child froze and stopped breathing. So I took her quickly, I called her name. We did everything we could. We uh, splashed water on her face. I was besides myself initially, but then I switched to tongues and I started to pray in tongues. I called the ambulance and the parents. After 10 minutes, she woke up. This was before the parents arrived. She was looking drowsy and wanted to go back to sleep. We continued praying in tongues. Then the prayer, the parents arrived. We were all waiting for the ambulance together. The ambulance said they were, very, they were busy and were on their way. 
To cut a long story short, the little girl woke up and remained alert. Her parents then took her to the emergency room themselves. It could have been worse. God was faithful to me. What the enemy meant for evil, the Lord turned around for good. The enemy has been put to shame. The child is now well and happy. I give God all the glory, all the honor, and all the adoration in the name of Jesus. Amen. Hallelujah. Thank you. Hallelujah. Over to you for me. I thought somebody, I thought people would be shouting by now. The girl oh, stopped God. breathing. Or did you not know hear that baby stopped breathing? <laughs> glory, glory. Thank God for the power in the name of Jesus. We need to use it to see the miraculous. You and I need to get more, we get bolder, get 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 uh, uh more audacious and use the name, use the name, yeah. use the name, so that we can see the miraculous. That's the connection connection between God and the earth, that name Jesus. And so by using that name, that child started breathing again. Someone might be able to explain it away because they've read too many books, but I dare to say that at the name of Jesus, that child started breathing again. And I dare to say that if we will use that name everywhere else, everything that was dead will come alive again in the name Jesus. of Jesus. Hallelujah. Glory, glory, glory. glory let's let's just open up our mouths and bless the Lord. Let's bless oh, the Lord. as we you, hand over thank to you, Lord. 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 We thank you, 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 thank thank you, Lord, thank you, Jesus, thank you, Lord, thank you, Jesus, thank you, Lord, thank you, Lord, thank you, Lord, thank you, Lord, hallelujah, thank you, Lord, thank you, Jesus, hallelujah, we can't overthink him, we can't overpraise him, he deserves the praise, he deserves the worship, he deserves the adoration, we accolade, Lord. Lord. We Give esteem you, you God. We exalt we you, massive God, name. mighty God. Oh, thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Undefeatable, undisputed champions. We thank you, Lord. We give you praise. Hallelujah. Hallelujah, God. We give you thanks. Oh, Sataladabayata, Asataya. Go What a way to start off. God is so good. God is super good. And he still does miracles. He still, he still, we have supernatural beings. Like, like Pastor Agi was talking about, we, the supernatural is our lifestyle. Hallelujah. As we pray in the second half, we we'll begin to pray into the economics of our lives. I want you to know that even though it's the final month of the year 2022, the glory of the latter is still going to be better than the former. There are still some major shifts that needs to happen even, even before the year end. So as we pray tonight, I want us to pray constructive and creative prayers. You know, we do not just stumble on success. We prayerfully plan, prepare, and create it. We, 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 we energize the Holy Ghost we, 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 to, 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 to make room room for us. We possess with words and with the energy of the Holy Spirit, there is manifestation. So I want you, as we pray tonight, I want you to be free with the Holy Ghost. I want you to pray intentionally, pray extensively, pray passionately. When we pray, we exercise our creative ability as delegated to us by the Lord Jesus Christ in Mark 11, 23 and John 14, 14. God wants us to excel. God wants us to exceed even more than we want to do so. Our God is gracious. If he did not withhold his son. How will he not with him also freely give us all things? He wants us to succeed in every area. So as we pray tonight, I want you to pray as if now, now is my time, because now is our time. Lord, we thank you. We give you praise this evening as we start to pray. We thank you because even 2023 is a bigger year, but 2022 is not over. You are not, you are not a God on time. You do not go chronologically. You are a God who is, this is our season. This is the season of the church, and we maximize it with the help and with the partnership of the Holy Spirit. We thank you. This evening, I want you to unmute yourself and begin to pray, begin to thank him, begin to thank him, begin to thank him as we, as, as 
we've done in the last few sessions, we're first going to start by saying, Lord, we thank you. We thank you. We thank you. We thank you. Because even in this season, even in this time of, of world financial crisis, we are exempted and we vocalize our exemption. Even in this time of recession, we release ourselves completely from we exempt, exempt our lives from the global reception, from the global famine. We say, Father, our lives are redeemed from farming in Jesus' name, Lord, we thank you. We thank you for the incorruptible seed of the word of God. You have exalted your word above your name. So as we thank you for supernatural exemption. Paul and we will say there is a reason we say we say we say we say la katia le de le kashi ya baba e rando shada e se di rada ya ki alamata exempt yourself exempt your home exempt your family exempt your business e ti aluki yo sunto e de rando shu exempt your job e di rando abatoria katwa she e di sunto por de pasunda e te le pronto and this light shines in the darkness, and the darkness, and the darkness cannot comprehend it. John 1 5, our light is shining in this darkness. Speaker, I accept my business, I accept my career, my career, I accept my ministry from the recession, the famine, and the negative indexes. Exempt yourself, stake your exemption, vocalize your exemption. Mazadiato de Brando Yakatiande, Mento Lagato Shada, Esola Baraka Sokaramba Shanda, Esota Liga Rondo Shada, Esola. Ente <laughs> there is no downsizing for us to have the grace and the ability to expand even in this season in our career kashu de 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 ora basho to to ora basho kalamasho de 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 ora basho da da ora basho da da sa de prabhu da la baria so da la basho da de 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 Arise and shine. Arise and shine. For our light is come already. The glory of our Lord is resting, is sitting upon us. For behold, for behold, that same darkness that, that the writer John was writing in John chapter 1, that the darkness, the darkness has covered the earth and gross darkness the people. Aha, but the Lord, that the shiada, but the Lord shall arise. He will arise upon us. He will be pissing upon us. His glory will be sin upon us. I pray, omit yourself and pray, even in this season, even in this time. The Lord will arise upon me. His glory will be seen upon me. Glory will be seen upon me. 
even in this time, even in this season, this is the season. Oh, when the abundance of the city will be converted to the church, the forces of the Gentiles will come into the church. Lord, we stake our claim to supernatural exclusion and supernatural exemption. We refuse to participate in the resemption, but we in the in the recession, but we stake our claim, we stake our right. Pray Psalm 37, verse 19. They will not be ashamed in the evil day, and in the days of famine, they shall be satisfied. Mazopali Katoshianda Zaporiakata. These are the days of famine. It is our birthright to be satisfied. Maskoliashuna Masonta Yekata. Please pray. Maskotoma. No scarcity in your house. No scarcity of job. No scarcity of finances. No scarcity of provision. Masate Yakata. Neskola Mashonte Baraka Sonto. Please pray. Ratosa to Shandia Katia. John chapter 10, verse 10 B. I come, come that they might have life and that they might have it more abundantly. I have come that they may have life, life in abundance to the full till it overflows. Here he says, I came to give life, life that is full and good. Jesus came to give us the good life. I want you to pray. We are give voice to what God, God Jesus has done. We are the ones that speak it out. Speak, give voice to it. Say, Lord, I live the good life. Even in the famine, I'm satisfied. Even in the reception, the recession, I have life to the fullest. I have everything that I need. That's what the good, good GW says. I 
have everything that I need. Uh, even in this time, this time of crisis, this time of famish, this time of inflation, I have everything that I need. Uh, our resources are not kept to earth. Uh, even in this time I'm honored to pray for economic and financial honor it is not enough to be the eldest you need honor financial dignity financial honor the poor man's voice is not heard I want you to pray Lord even in this last month navigate me to my next level in line with you in sync with you lead me Maskola Bashada Jeremiah 10 23 oh Lord I know that the way of man is not in himself it is not in a man that walks to direct him is to direct his own steps so direct my life lead me to my place of financial and economic economic honor, to my place of wealth, to my place of increase, to my place of advancement, to my career. I'm picking up in my spirit. Some of you need to change your careers. Don't think of your age. Pray. Pray for your business. It is not in a man that walketh to direct his steps. Please pray. This is key. Lord, I direct my step uh, to my position, to my placement, uh, to my lot. Uh, navigate my life, uh, navigate my steps, uh, order my steps. Uh, to my position, to my placement, to my 
it is not within the limited ability of man, even one as his best, to choose and to direct his steps in life. And pass only katwa shada. Pray that prayer once again. I depend, I rely, I partner with the Holy Ghost. You are navigating me to my place of placement, to my allotment, to my provision, to my position. Where you will be celebrated and not tolerated. Where I will be rewarded and recognized. Where I will be applauded, God, I pray. In life, in ministry, in my career. Lord, brother, please pray. You said you will lead us in the way we should go. You will guide us with your eye. We ask for your leadership. no more guest worker, no more guest worker, no more trial and error. Romans 8 14. For as many as are led by the Spirit of God, they are the sons of God, they are the heroes, the mature sons of God. I want you to intentionally ask for his leadership. Don't assume Holy Ghost lead me to my allotment, to my provision. The Bible says you maintain my lot. There is a lot allotted for me with my name on it on this planet Earth. Two times the writer of Psalm says you lead me. Do you make me to lie down in green pastures? You lead me beside still waters. He said you lead me in paths of righteousness. There are paths designated and allotted for us. In Baria Kashianda, omit yourself and pray. This last month of December, this last month of 2022, Ita <laughs> <laughs> 
I'm so sorry, we have to pray that prayer again. Oh, damn my steps, oh Lord, oh damn my life to the place of abundance, abundant honor, abundant provision, to the place of my elevation, to the place where my giftings are received and rewarded, to the place where my talents are needed, to the place where I'll be a solution bringer. Lord, oh damn my steps. I will bring the blind by with the new not. I will lead them in the path they have not known. I will make darkness light before them and crooked things straight. These things will I do unto them. Apakura Tashada, Isaiah 42, 16. Masata, it is our birthright to be led. Ipatusi Kalian Talegeda, Zoprado Jedayagadia, Bosolia Matushi, unmute yourself and pray. This December, Lord. Epaluka Swada, Etalopato, Matuka Liba, Dada, 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 the hearing ear, the seeing eye, the Lord has made even both of them. Proverbs 2012, the hearing ear. I want us to pray this evening in one accord. Lord, the hearing ear, especially when it comes to wealth, when it comes to making, making economic impact. You need the hearing ear. You need the seeing eye to see what beyond what other people see. Locatia Lamata, Zekenia Masatia. It is free for us as a child of God. I want you to pray, Lord, the hearing ear, the ability to hear, the ability to see. Magenda Lika Tuasha, Darika Tuasha, 
Please pray. Rato so kutia da da da. Deso do 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 do. Mento pra da 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 da. Clarity of hearing. Clarity of seeing. Masha. No more seeing men as trees. Ika luka swala tiata. Especially ne pasuna matoto sheta dia kasata. Ente te 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 te. Mento do do do. Matoto do 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 do. Ika lupra da da da. Zukruta ika taya. Eto lo mashoto. Eto lo mashoto. Eto lo mure kona papa. Nale kana bozun tore kona papa. Moshe kala rabozun tore kona papa. Eze kala rabozun tore kona papa. In the place of economic empowerment, I pray. The hearing eye, the seeing eye. Matosha eko ya mosoto na bato. A pato katuso a kanda sheda. Eto lo pra mosha. Please pray. Pray, <laughs> Lord, position me. Reposition me. Position and reposition me. Where I ought to be. There is no point being in Cherith when the provision is in Zerafatha. Ikalia Mashada. Zelima Toshikala. Position me. Reposition me. Matusi Lagada. Oh, to the place where my provision is, where my abundance is, where my calling is, where my gifting is needed. Matushi Adabasa. Pray. Patusu Lamata. Zole Padushe Namasoto. Ante Tise Librato. Ampade Akata. Etoliam Brada Kosoto. Ashonte Patu. Akarian Tabasa. Eso Lamata. Ato Prato Shia Tusala. You are to direct me to the fish with the coin. Matu so lamato saliba. Please pray. Matosha. Precision of direction. Masula matoshiada. Ezola matoshiada. Etola mama. Precision of economic direction. Matoshiada. Etototototashudada. Concerning your business. Elamashota. Lantushada. Antaneda. Lantoshe. Lusatushane. Mangolele. Thank 
There is a financial dignity that you need uh, that will put you above uh, your contemporaries, your colleagues. I want you to ask for it tonight. Zalaba, uh, Zakariaba, Retosha, amongst your peers, amongst your siblings, amongst your contemporaries, there is a financial dignity you require. Mbaskola Shata, Isaliaba, Deuteronomy 28, 13, and the Lord shall make you the head and not the tail. You shall be above only. Only the only position you can be is above. Apakata yakata. I want you to pray. Rato shakaliama. I hearken unto the voice of the Lord my God. Ndazatiada. So I am designated to be above only, above my career, above my contemporaries, above with my colleagues, above only. Matosha ekoria basata yekada ekalia. Please pray. Matoshe talia above only. God has made you the head already. That is your position. That is your location. Give my visibility, give my career visibility, visibility in the ministry, visibility, Lord, Ma <laughs> <laughs> 
Now I want you to call back uh, opportunities uh, that was lost, uh, opportunities that have been hijacked, uh, opportunities that were aborted beyond be, before fruition, before completion. Uh, Basaka, I want you to declare restore, restore, restore every hijacked opportunities, opportunities that were even shot by my own errors, uh, opportunities for my advancement. Nakatia ladia gesoli pata shikando kaswata baba soki namasa. If a thief is caught, uh, he will be made to repay sevenfold, uh, sevenfold, uh, sevenfold. Uh, nasakata, nasokaya. We shout, restore. We proclaim, restore. We say, restore, 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 restore. According to Isaiah 42 22, we say, restore, 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 restore every opportunity that was sidelined, uh, that was hijacked, uh, that was sidetracked, uh, ikalua kashiada, that has been lost ante pasa aborted kila masa pray maskola mashata zelebra toko sonte pasa we declare a store 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 and we create new opportunities we create opportunities we create jobs we create careers we create businesses we start to make room for us now, for us now, it is a brand new shade. God is alive. It is a day of salvation. 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 Sideline uh, everything that God has ordained uh, to move us to the next level that was hijacked or distracted or diverted. Uh, we demand restoration. Uh, Restore, 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 restore,
before we go we have to declare favor favor is a differentiator favor is the end of struggling favor has no respect for race gender color no 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 favor is an accelerator i want you to speak if jesus needed to increase in favor the bible says in luke 252 you know that's one of my favorite scriptures jesus increased in wisdom and stature and in favor with god and man if jesus needed to increase in favor it's Elia Mashada. Pray, Lord, this this last month of 2022, let me experience favor like never before. Favor to bring me to to bring me advancement, to bring me enlargement. Favor on my career, in my business. Ekula Masha in ministry, give me favor. Matoshia da basua le katwa umpadi katushi nama mazoto shede basoto atashada ale. Bashota, as I was a foreigner, but she obtained favor. So it is not your geographical location, as that 215, as that obtained favor in the sight of all. Every person that is a human being, you have favor with them in the sight of all. In the sight of all, Lord, we pray. We pray. Everybody that sees my face, everybody that hears my name. Declare it this evening once again. Everybody that sees your face, everybody that hears your voice, everybody that sees your name, everywhere your name is mentioned, that the favor of God will answer. Favor with systems, favor with structures, favor with governments, favor with policies, favor unprecedented favor that what they've never done for anybody else please pray and the daughter of Ty will come with a gift the rich among the people will seek your favor favor is required for rising 
Rado Soto, Zelibranta Cassiate Casulama. You need favor to rise. Italama Soko, Antakata, Ankeliba Ruba. Academics is good, but favor is superior. Mazilla Kuria Katsianda. Talent and giftings are good, but favor cannot be challenged. Ikaluaba, Antepa, please pray. Agree with me. Matoshia Tanamra Soto Toshe Tete. Masoto Candia, Besoloma to Sebote Casulama, Etolama Toto, Eto, 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 Eto,
will teach will um, basically lead us on how to go about it. Let's share the grace of fellowship so we'll be able to come back tomorrow night. In the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, the love of our God, God, and the and fellowship of the Holy Spirit, of the Holy Spirit. Of the Holy Spirit. and abide with us now and forever. Amen.